This is Double D in the Friday Morning, Episode 29, The History of Cartoons, Part 20, The Story of Janet Waldo, February 4th, 1919, to June 12th, 2016. She was born on February 4th, 1919, to Jane and Benjamin Waldo. She was one of four siblings, one including Elizabeth Waldo, an actor that is still alive. She's over 100, and she's 104. Her mother, Jane, was a singer, trained at the Boston Conservatory of Music. Her sister, Elizabeth, like her mother, was an accomplished musician and was an award-winning violinist and composer who appeared in the movie Song of Mexico. She went to the University of Washington College and she garnered attention as a talent in student theater who garnered the attention of Ben Crosby, a paramount talent scout that was with him at the time, signed her to a label. The talent scout took notice after she won an award. After this, she was starting to establish a name for herself. She had appeared in several movies and, and TV that were uncredited bits. But she did. She was the leading lady for three films starring Tim Holt. 1941's Big Town was her first radio show. She didn't get her big break until 1941-1943 on the Lux Radio Theater. On this show, just like the Big Town show, she played various voice characters. In 1952, when she was 33, she had a bit part on the Isle of Lucy as Peggy Dawson, a fan of Ricky Ricardo's. Even though she was playing a teenager that was 16, she was 33 at the time. This is what she looked like on Isle of Lucy back in 1952, when she was 33, but she was playing the 16-year-old. Another radio show she was on from 46 to 56, she played the title character in Meet Cloris Archer. She also was the model for, for Cloris Archer in some comic books. In the 1960s, she started working for Hanna-Barbera. From 62 to 66, she was on the Flintstones. From 62 to 66, she played Pearl Slaghoople, Wilma's mother, who frequently didn't get along with Alan Reed's character, Fred Flintstone. From 65 to 67, she co-starred on the Animat show with Howard Morris playing the Animat character. She played Granny Sweet opposite Don Messick as Precious the Pup. For one season in 62 to 63 and then 85 to 87, she was on the Jetsons. She played the typical teenage daughter living in the 21st century named Judy Jetson for all three seasons of the show. She guest starred on the Magilla Gorilla show in 64 on the Pumpkin Puss and Mushmouth segment where she was his girlfriend Honey, Honey Bun. From 67 to 68 she played the character Nancy on the show Shazan. Shazan was one of those Hanna-Barbera famous knockoffs of another live-action primetime comedy called Bewitched and I Dream a Genie. She was the voice of Penelope Pitstop from 68 to 69 on The Wacky Races and The Perils of Penelope Pitstop. Unlike in The Wacky Races, she's not a racer in, in this particular particular perils of Penelope Pit Stop. She's an heiress and the anthill mom of her bodyguards. From 1970 to 1971, she played the voice of the title character Josie and Josie and the Pussycats. Her character is on the front far left in the red hair. In 1972, she reprised her role in the spinoff Josie, Josie and the Pussycats in Outer Space. This is a still image from the intro of the, of the show. In 2013, one of the last things she ever did was a part of a voiceover documentary called I Know That Voice. She was on there with June Foray, Tara Strong, Gray DeLisle, um, E.G. Daly. You, you name it, she, you know, she was on there with all the other greats. And it was talking about voice actor history. I highly recommend to watch that movie. I hope you enjoyed this. What can I say that hadn't been said about her already? And remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and hit the notification bell. A double D in the morning. So you'll know about my videos every Friday and Sunday morning at 10. 
I've also got some social medias. The links will be in the comments. I've got a Facebook, a Tumblr, an Instagram, and a Facebook fan group. Drew's YouTube fan group. Please follow me. And I'm also taking suggestions from my fans inside the group. So give me suggestions. If you're going to join my group of what you want my next video to be about. Or what would you like to see. If you like this one, join me next Friday. For Double D in the Friday Morning Episode 30, History of Cartoons Part 21, The History of B. Barnett.